Hey guys, Steve Petrato here from Blade. Today we're going to show you the unboxing and assembly of the 350QX and getting it ready for your first flight. So here we go. Today we've got the Bind and Fly version of the 350QX. Comes in this fancy black box. Go ahead and open it up here. First thing you're going to notice is that you're going to have the manual. It's actually a quick start guide, a few tools to help you set it up along with some legal information on the back. And you'll notice that the 350QX pretty much comes assembled right out of the box. Go ahead and pull that out. You'll notice the landing gear, the compass, and the props are all installed on the 350QX. Compass being down here. We'll set that aside for right now. Next we've got the charger. Pull that out of the box. You'll notice the charger is alligator clips. That's going to allow you to charge at the field, from your car, or anywhere you have a 12 volt pa power supply. It's really easy to use. We've got the battery, pull it out, it's your E-Flight 3S2200. Basically take the balance tab, and you're going to go ahead and place it into the socket that it fits into. We'll set the charger to 3 cell, and go ahead and turn the amps about to 2 amps just for now. We'll hook it up to our, two, well, to our 12 volt charger, the car battery, power supply and we're just going to hit start stop. It'll beep and it will start charging. All the directions are on the charger right there. Next thing you're going to notice in the box is you have your anti-vibration camera mount. It's in a couple pieces, but we'll have to assemble that as well. Then you're going to have your GoPro Hero 3 uh, camera mount or camera case. That's going to go right for your GoPro Hero 3. Then we're going to have all the assembly items for your anti-vibration camera mount. You're going to have the screw that holds it together, the silicone dampers that go in between, and the bolts that hold it to the frame of the quadcopter. And lastly, you'll notice in the box of the Bind and Fly, you'll have a couple sets, or at least one full set, of props. That way, if you have any crashes, you'll have some spares right off the bat. Up next, we're going to assemble the anti-vibration camera mount. This is what you're going to mount your GoPro camera to. It comes in a few pieces, like we just showed you. We'll go ahead and grab the top plate. That's going to be the top plate that has the screw mounts right here. You're also going to notice that it's going to have the word front labeled into the mold. You're going to grab the other one and you'll notice that it also has front labeled on the mold as well. We'll go ahead and install the silicone balls so that it's easier to install it on the quadcopter when we're ready. So, this part mounts to the bottom of the frame so the silicone balls actually hang from right here. Go ahead and pull that off. Go ahead and grab one silicone ball. I find it's easy to kind of squeeze it and stick it through the hole. And just kind of pull the top through. Pretty simple. And grab the other one. And just go ahead and do this three more times until you have all of them installed. All right, now we're going to go ahead and assemble the bottom piece. Remember, it's got front labeled right onto the mold, so it's easy to put these two together. Front of this one. So the front of this one goes like this, and all we're going to do is put the bottom part of the silicone ball through this bottom plate. To do this, since this one's already attached, it's easier to use a tool in my opinion. So go ahead and start the silicone ball into the top, into the bottom plate. Go ahead and grab a tool to help you push it through the hole, like an Allen wrench that come in the kit, or anything that's kind of long and uh, able to push this through. Be careful not to damage the silicone ball though when you're doing this. Once you get it started, you should be able to pull most of it through with your fingers. Just... Once you have your anti-vibration camera mount assembled, you can go ahead and install it onto the 350QX. It's actually really simple. We'll go ahead and grab the 350, place it upside down, and make sure to know that this is the front of the anti-vibration camera mount. It's actually got a label there, front, and the post is actually longer. It really won't fit in any other way, so it's pretty simple. Go ahead and place it into the quad, into the slots that are there. And grab your Allen wrench with your four screws to attach it. You're just going to go ahead and slide the screw down into the holes and screw it in until it's nice and snug. Now that we've installed our anti-vibration camera mount in, onto the 350QX, we can go ahead and install our GoPro camera now. If you don't have a GoPro Hero 3, you can install a GoPro 2 or 1 using the standard case that it comes with. Our case is designed for lightweight use for the, th for the Hero 3. Go ahead and grab our GoPro. Go ahead and install it in the case like so. 
close each half and make sure it's in there pretty nice and snug. We'll go ahead and install the two tabs into the bottom here, just like your standard GoPro case mounts to any other mount that they make. Grab the screw that we provide, go ahead and slide it in. All right, we'll go ahead and snug up the, the GoPro camera down here. Make sure that it doesn't move too much. You wanna just tighten that up, get the right angle. We can adjust this when we go outside to fly it for the first time. There we go. You got your 350QX with the GoPro Hero 3 on there. And we're ready to fly. The next thing we're gonna do, because this is a bind and fly, is we're gonna go ahead and bind it to our radio and take it for a quick test flight in the studio here. So what we'll do is now that we've got our battery, fully charged. We're going to go ahead and open the battery hatch, which is back here. Pretty simple. Just go ahead and push in and pull up. The hatch comes right off. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and install the E-Flight battery. Go ahead and move the power lead out of the way. Then go ahead and slide it in face first. Snug up your Velcro lines in there. Go ahead and plug in the power supply. This won't turn the 350QX on as long as the on-off switch is in the off position. We'll go ahead and tuck our batteries away. Put the battery hatch back on. All right, now we're ready to bind. We'll go ahead and fire up the 350QX using the on-off switch here. It's gonna turn that on, lights will pop up. Go ahead and place it on a flat surface. It will go through its arming sequence. And then it will go into bind mode because it does not sense any RF right now. We'll go ahead and grab our transmitter that we want to bind it to. Make sure you have all the computer programming done and it's all available in the quick start guide and on the online manual. We'll go ahead and bind this up. Go ahead and push bind, start up our radio. You'll notice that the battery, the, the LED light will begin to flash differently. The quad will make a beep sound when it has the uh, receiver already, like that. So now it's actually bound and it's firing up. We're going to go over the startup procedure of the Blade 350QX using the DX5 radio. This is the one that comes in ready to fly kits, but it's a similar startup procedure for all your Spectrum radios. Initially what we want to do is start the radio, make sure the model is bound, we showed you how to do that earlier. We're going to go through the quick checks of the radio. These are your trims here, you got uh, aileron, elevator, yaw, and throttle. Each trim will need to be in the center. It's indicated by a long tone. You can see here if I push to the right, it beeps and it increases if I hold it. If I push back to the center, that long tone is actually center trim. So we'll go ahead and make sure every trim is in the center trim. Push it to the right, back to the center, long tone, long tone. Now every trim is in the center. The next thing we're going to do is make sure that our rate switch is in the high rate position. It's labeled here, high rate. And we're also going to make sure that our flight mode switch is all the way back, facing away from me, in the smart mode. When we turn on our 350QX and we get it properly bound to our radio, it's going to go into GPS search mode immediately, whether or not you're in stability mode, agility mode, or smart mode. It's indicated by a blinking green LED. This will take approximately 30 to 60 seconds or possibly longer depending on clouds. Make sure when you are ready to fly that you have a solid green LED. Now that we've got the GPS lock on the 350QX, we'll go ahead and try to start the model. Our trims are centered, right, rate switch is in high rate, and we're all the way in smart mode. We're going to take our left stick, which is our throttle and rudder stick, and we're going to move this stick when it's at zero throttle all the way down, left, then right, then back to center. That should fire up the 350QX. Go ahead and take off. And there you have it. Okay guys, once we've installed the anti-vibration camera mount, the GoPro camera itself, and installed and charged our flight battery, we're ready to go out and do some nice pre-flight checks and get this thing up in the air outside for the first time. Be sure to check out new videos that we'll have on this playlist about how to's for flying, calibrations, and that kind of thing. My name's Steve Petrato, and thanks for watching.